The explosion, caused by a fire at a nearby lorry terminal, is the worst disaster to strike the West African state in more than a decade. The force of the blast gave few a chance to escape. People were burnt beyond recognition where they stood under the station or trapped in the charred wreckage of cars and minivans parked on its forecourt. Dozens were killed. Actually, we were called here last night after there was fire at the Goya Police Station. When we got there, we realized here yeah, the Goya Police Station and some adjoining um, structures were on fire. So we decided to even rescue people who were even trapped at the residential apartment close to the filling station. We had 10 people that we rescued. Though they received, um, they have some uh, various degrees of burns, uh, we were able to send them uh, to the hospital. And then we continued to fight the, the, the fire. It was after fighting the fire that we saw there were a lot of dead bodies scattered at the filling station. And then we began to um, retrieve those dead bodies from the filling station. The incident exposed Accra's vulnerability to storms, given poor drainage and weak infrastructure that has failed to keep pace with population growth after years of rapid economic expansion. The filling station that has been mounted in town are many, are too much. They are too much. Where people live, those things are supposed not to be there, especially this gas filling station and so forth. Anything can happen. President John Mohammed said he was heartbroken by the loss of life. He blamed the floods partly on people building homes and businesses on waterways, blocking the city's drainage systems. Maria Golang, CCTV.